Go ahead, senior. What happened in Tucson last year? <laughs> Next question. No offense. You got it. Blessing. Blessing. God's work. We, uh, at practice, we just continue to just push and push and push. Um, have a great attitude at practice. Come out, you know, firing, making sure that God, everybody is just <coughs> focused and locked in. Um, and uh, we started out slow, but we knew we continued to say um, before the game, we knew that they got to play, play us for 60 minutes. And uh, we got a lot of momentum there coming out of half, and, and that's what that was the turning point in the game. And then we just handled business. That's, We've nothing. been here before. We don't got to, there's no, we got to soak about anything being down, none of that. We were down 10 against Colorado going into half, so it's just perseverance, man. <laughs> guys just doing their job executing really um we had some big time third downs that we got uh you know that third down the kill caught that slant that was huge um and um you know we just ran the ball really effectively in the second half um which which helped us seal the game <laughs> We got one more. All right. Um, personally, man, I'm a. I just want. I think I say thank you to D. Rich, man, for bringing the passion that he brings every day. This one meant a lot to me. For these seniors, these are guys that I came in with, um, and I told them before before this week that just just continue to press on, man. I promise that I'll give my all. Um, They've been they've been riding with me, um, and this is just it's awesome to get this for these guys because they put in so much time. Um, you know we've been through so many summers together. Um, we just been through it together, and 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 this was this was special for me to get these win this win for these guys. <laughs> He's too little. Don't. I, mm, He's a true freshman. I'm a grown man. And I knew and I knew you can you can tell when somebody really don't want to do something, especially when you're playing football and you can tell when somebody when you're imposing your will on somebody, and they don't they, they don't wanna play no more. You know. And I felt like he was too young, too little. And I know I need some more stuff on film. So how did I got this one. We knew it. I got this one. Y'all ain't believe it. We <clears throat> knew it. So, in the beginning of the year, we were only predicted to win three games. Well, we went, how many we went? Seven? We seven and six? Seven, we, five. seven, seven and five. five. We exceeded expectations. We should have so, won more. We, we should have won more. Some games we shot ourselves in the foot, but, you know, we could, we came out on top. You no, know, we didn't want to be number two in the Pac-12. Of course, we wanted to be number one, but it's all in God's plan. You know, and we blessed to be here. It could, it's a million other people who wish they were in our shoes. So we just blessed to be here, and we're going to take advantage of every opportunity given to us. <clears throat> I mean, our relationship was never bad. Like, it was never bad. I was just, like, you know, when I got around Coach TG, I was just always quiet, you know? So, like, now it's just like I, I feel like I have more of a vocal role, you know, and now I can talk to him about anything. Like Coach Graham probably texting my phone right now, you know, just that, and that's just the type of relationship we have, you know, and I'm grateful for him. Like I said, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else, and I always want to, I never want to, I wouldn't want to play with, uh, play with somebody else. So, you know, and like I said, I want to send my coach out with a bang. I know how much this game meant to him and how much it meant to us. So, um, we're going to celebrate. Yeah, we kind of saw him on the ground, but we weren't uh, quite too sure. He came back in the uh, in the second half, but we knew he was kind of banged up. So we prepared for both quarterbacks, and uh, we just went out there and executed. It didn't really give us a boost, you know. We played against Dawkins last year. You know, he's an effective quarterback. He can run just like uh, Tate. You know, 
and they ran the same offense. It just we stuck to our game plan. I mean, he's changed the program around. Honestly, I mean, they were barely winning games. Like I never getting never. recruited. Like I never thought I'd come here. To be honest with you, I didn't. I never thought of coming here. But when I took my official visit and took my visits, I was here with him, with Manny all the time. Manny telling me I was committed to Washington. Manny telling me like, bro, we we we, we changing it over here. Come here, you know. So he, I mean, he he mean a lot to this program. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't hire nobody else. We ain't worried about that. <laughs> Win, take care of itself. He's a winner. You know, my relationship with Coach Graham has grown tremendously this year. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, I've taken some huge steps um, maturity-wise, and uh, and he's helped me grow as a leader of this football team. Um, and there's just there's just some things that, with experience that he has, it. It, it helps to have him in my ear in certain situations during certain times um, <laughs> to just handle things the right way. And, uh, you know, it's been a blessing to have him, have him as a coach. Um, and, I mean, and I'm sure it will continue. We didn't really change much. You know, we uh, tightened up a couple of our alignments, you know, and they kind of got away from it in the second half. So I think that's really – it was on them. They really just switched it up. Just doing what I'm coached to do. Hey, we love y'all, man. <laughs> We weren't losing no more games to U of A. Definitely we, not to them. We weren't losing Definitely. this game. Regular. That's and regular. season the right way. We got one more. Got to go handle business. Regular. <clears throat> That's regular. That's just really regular. We just had to get our groove. That's it. Once we got our groove, it was over with. I had to, I mean, I had to, you know, tell Coach Graham a couple things like, hey, like, we got to stop running stuff out of pistol. I can't see. Like, I'm 5'7". Like, I can't see. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, we got to start running stuff out the hip. You know, we start running stuff out the hip. Bang, bang, bang. Game over. We ain't want no parts of that. My elbow wasn't dinged. I just started bleeding. I, I was bleeding the whole game, like. Oh, you talking about, oh, I broke my arm. I broke my arm, you know, a couple years down the road, you know, but uh, it's nothing that's regular, too. Come here. I know what he said. Come here. <laughs> yeah, come I I tell y'all every week, we don't bother nobody. We don't do none of that in pregame. They want to talk in pregame. We run out the tunnel. You want to talk? Y'all should know the answer to that. You're going to have to see me. I told him, come here. He slowed down and put me out of bounds. He's a little boy. Thank you. Thank you.